Hi there! Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, we will discuss some concepts about the Windows Registry. When you boot your Windows computer, services are started, drivers are loaded, the desktop session is set up based on a user's settings, some applications are started, etc. All these activities progress based on a specific configuration that is stored in the registry. The Windows registry can be thought of as a database that contains configuration information for the operating system, all the users, and installed applications. Some of this configuration is present by default since OS installation, while other settings can be configured by the administrator. I will demonstrate how we can view the contents of the registry in user land. The registry can be accessed via the GUI or the command line. The registry editor provides GUI access. Here, we can see the five major root keys. Each root key has subkeys, which in turn have more subkeys. The values for each key are stored with a name, using data types specific to the registry. Let's talk about each root key. The class's root key holds information about all possible file extensions and the applications that can be used to open them. Let's consider the BMP extension, used for bitmap images. Here, we can see the MIME type, and in the default field, we can see a value called paint.picture. This is formally referred to as COM class associations. Let's follow this value. Here, we can find information about the application that can be used to open files with the extension BMP. This string shows the registry path traversed to access a specific key. Next, let's talk about the current user key. For the user currently logged into the system, this key contains information like environment variable definitions, preferences for installed software, and general system settings. The local machine key holds important system configuration information. Data required at system boot time is present within this subkey. The hardware subkey contains data about some hardware devices attached to the computer. Subkeys with their data are also referred to as hives. The security account manager hive has data about local and group accounts, passwords, domain information, etc. The security hive contains user access rights information. The contents of these two hives are only visible to the system. Within the software hive, we can find configuration information for applications installed by the user. Within the system hive, there is additional data that is required during system boot time. Next, let's talk about the user's key. For every user account on the computer, account-specific preferences and configuration information is stored according to the security identifier. The current config key is a shortcut to data present within the local machine key. In addition to the five root keys we just discussed, there are four other registry root keys. These are not accessible via the registry editor and can only be accessed programmatically with Windows API. The local settings key is a shortcut to a subkey within the current user key. The other three root keys contain information about system performance with respect to memory use, network use, disk use, etc. Contents of the registry can also be accessed via the command line using the reg tool. The contents of various registry hives are stored as files across the disk. Now, let's view registry data in the kernel land. I have Windows Debugger running in kernel debugging mode. All registry related data can be viewed using the reg command. First, we will view the list of registry hides. Here, we can view the address at which the registry hives can be found. The hives are referred to with their absolute path on disk. We can query the value of a specific registry key using the query key command. A registry path must be provided as input. The reg command has many options that can be used in kernel debugging mode. 
Using these commands and interpreting the results requires deep knowledge about the inner working of the Windows registry. I invite you to research about it and try using these commands on your computer. Some malware samples make stealthy changes to the registry, like configuring malicious programs to start at system boot time, disabling or modifying security features, and to even store the configuration of malware. In some cases, the changes are made in a way that they appear to blend in with settings present already. The changes made by a malware sample to the registry can sometimes be identified by simple static and dynamic analysis. In other cases, the behavior can be identified only when reverse engineering has been performed. Having knowledge about the purpose of the Windows registry and how it can be accessed in user land and kernel land will help you identify the changes introduced by a malware sample to the computer. I encourage you to explore the registry on your computer and get familiar with registry paths commonly targeted by cyber adversaries. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!